we are starting with question number 27 the electrons which are found in the energy level k it is the first energy level so all the quantum numbers are the same and the right answer will be all the previous okay this is the last question that we finished the last video with it and we are going to question number 28 electron x has the following quantum numbers n equal 3 L equal 2 ML ne negative half MS equal plus half and plus half what are the quantum numbers of electron Y which has the same energy of electrons X but it differ from the electron X in spinning motion respectively okay what is the meaning here one of them different in spinning motion only okay if we are going to answer this question the right answer will be here number a they are different we have here we have here that the right answer would be number a we have here negative half and also we have here plus half Okay, so they are quantum numbers. Element uh, electron X and electron Y differ in only spinning motion. Okay, this is the right answer will be number A. Okay, what we are going to question number 29. It says that which of the following quantum numbers includes a mistake? Okay, what do you think about this? I think it's right without any complete to any of them we have N3 L here not the same number of what of N so the wrong which one will be number C here it's wrong from away from the right quantum numbers okay we are going to question number 30 which of the following quantum numbers don't include a mistake okay all of them are having a mistake except one we have here what we have number a not contain a mistake so we have here n equal 5 l 5 minus 3 minus 2 equal 3 and ml will be negative have negative 3 so the right answer will be number A. Okay, we are going to question number 31. The electrons which have the same L, MS values are located in the same. What do you think about? Okay. If, we, if they have the same magnetic quantum number and what? And ms or spin quantum number so they are in the same sub level but not necessary in the same principal level okay they are present in the same sub levels but they don't necessary in the same principal level so they not maybe not in the same tick n uh, but sub levels will be B or S or F or D so they are located in the same what sub levels okay we are going to question number 32 which of the following statement is correct it possible to determine position and speed of electron together preciously at the same time it's wrong the space the sizes of orbitals of the same atom are similar Okay. the electron can be fo found in the spaces between the energy level no it's wrong at all so if we wanted to choose the correct one we have the two electrons of helium don't have the same four quantum number two electrons of helium don't have the same four quantum numbers okay it is the right answer about our question it's going to question number 33 which of the following 
represent the possible quantum numbers of the last electron in nitrogen atom okay nitrogen atom all of them write about the principal quantum number subsidiary quantum number we have here magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number will be what will be plus have okay as we have here plus one and so ms will be plus half okay let's go into question number 34 which is easier losing an electron from 3d or from 4s do you think what is more easy for this one okay if we are going to talk about what's easy it's easy to lose from the one that away from the nucleus as not affected by the attraction force of the nucleus okay so it is more easy to lose from s more than from d as d has low energy level or low amount of energy comparing with 4s as 4s comes in above or have higher energy than 3d so it more easy to lose what to lose electrons from 4s as it is more away from the nucleus so 4s more easy to lose or more easy as it is farther from the nucleus than 3d okay it's a kind of question very easy but you have to concentrate on it question number 35 we have here what is the correct order of orbitals in titanium atom according to increase of energy if we are talking about it we have here we said that we have s b and followed by s also and d we have here we have number b 3s less than 3b and 4s less than sorry 3b greater than 3s 4s greater than 3b and the last one 3d greater than 4s okay this is the correct order of titanium atom in distributing electrons in energy level let's go into question number 36 we have which electrons that have the following quantum numbers has higher energy we have one have higher energy so higher energy means that we have a higher principal quantum number so the right answer will be number d will be n equal five okay let's go into question number 37 the element whose atomic number is 14 its electrons are distributed in what orbitals okay so we want to know the electrons distribution in orbitals we have orbitals total number of orbitals if we have 14 electrons so we must we must divided divided what divided two as each orbital well saturated with or filled with two electrons so the right answer will be number d7 okay let's go into question number 38 in iron element fe26 the number of half filled orbitals is equal to the value of its what quantum number of the last electron okay if we are talking about it so we are talking about principal quantum number okay we are going to talk about principal quantum number let's go into question number 39 okay what is electronic configuration when represent an excited atom if we are talking about excited atom we are going to say that we have two electrons in the first energy level but we have less than its original number so we have here the right answer will be number c lithium 1s2 and 2b1 represent an excited atom so we can what we can make electronic configuration represent an excited atom here okay this is question number 39 
and we are going to 